Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. And yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So that was something fun. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out! Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here, you've got to check this out. Behold, our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If Kung Fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. of technology. A 3D printer. This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of lethal weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. Good to have another brother here. Hey, good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer too, but better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sec go where it has the most impact. You heard of primate? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against primate. Bet they'd love your help.
It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. Nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Blue. Sorry, didn't mean that. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DeadSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Hipster merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our we can't let them do this. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. Just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. Yeah, maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks, because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. 